Ow. Timber. <laughs> what a great way to start off the show. Crash. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I hope somebody got to be in here to see that. Because if nobody got to see that, that would be a shame. Okay, I'm on. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I can hear you. All right, good evening, everyone. Well, PJ's in the house. Let everybody build up here. My phone froze. Nope, my video froze, but the phone's still working. What's up, Mr. Hot Wheel Hunter? Mr. Caven, what's going on? Hey, everyone. I'm just Mr. Getting... CJ. Here we go. Reagan, how's it doing? How's it going, brother? Did you get any damage up there at the farm or anything like that? Are you guys good? What up, Nick? Yay. Ah, PJ didn't see it. Darn. Or did he? And he's just lying. I had a good mail day today, but I forgot to bring it downstairs. Oh, nice. I got my low rider today. Oh, which low rider? The 64 Christmas one. Oh, whoops. Oh, Sorry. But I left it upstairs, so I'm not going to run upstairs and go get it. I got some cowboy boots. That cool. was about the highlight. And a sweet vest, brown, with a brown cowboy hat. That will need to be shaped and everything. All right, folks, so tonight it's pretty simple. We don't really have a format. All we want to do is talk about some of the highs, some of the lows, some of the fun, some of the maybe not so fun. What can we do to make things better? We got a toy show this weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah, we got a club show this weekend. I'm excited for. Not good, not bad. But I'll get it all fixed sometime. Yeah, I hear you. I got to go help my buddy fix his goat bin this summer, this spring. We got it temporarily back up for for now. And I'll be going back over there to help him finish putting it back in again for the second time. Super Mike, how are you? So, I mean, Paisley's sister arrived on the planet yeah, a couple of days it. ago. <laughs> it's just the show's formerly known yes, as the Yes, we are. We are back to the normal. Sorry, you're stuck with us tonight, guys. Yes, yeah. yes. And so. girls. Well, what do you want to talk about first? Well, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of stuff to talk about in an end of year kind of thing. We've had countless number of shows, big, small conventions. Um, you know, it's it's been a good year, I think. Um, Manny, what's going on, brother? You know, we got the we got the wagons, we got the the posts listed for the for, for next year's cyclone. Um, it's been a little low in the in the fines department for myself, Miss Greta. How are you doing? Hi, Miss uh, Greta. You know, it's been a it's been a good year, I think overall. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into next year. Hopefully, the wood prices keep falling the way they've been falling. Um, I don't know. What do you got? I think the overwhelming sense that um, I got is that it was starting to try to return to normal. Yeah. You know, Joseph, what's up? Howdy, brother. The ability to go to see our friends at Nationals, that was... That, that was, was a good a time. Big plus... You know, meeting new friends and getting to experience a, the convention at a different level, I think, this time yeah. around. You know, uh, being able to view the, the Hardy Adams in a different perspective. Yeah, getting there, getting to see that actually was pretty cool. I, I, you know, Super Mike and I have seen it before, but being able to bring it to you guys with the blessing of the folks who run it was pretty cool. I, I'll have to admit that. So, again, I would, I'd like to say thank you to Roy and Greg and um, 
uh, Brian and Joe Alvarado. Uh, yes, that's the name I was thinking of. Yeah, I can't got, remember the guys. I can't remember the guys T-Cat. name that run. T Cat. T Cat. Yeah, that's it. You know, having their blessing, I thought was very nice. Um, seeing Jeff Saddlemeyer there as well, that was kind of cool. Um, you know, seeing the first car survive and getting booed for it, and <laughs> you, you know, yeah, and 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 that truck is. Um... It's here somewhere. <laughs> it's safe. It's wrapped up in toilet paper in a in a protector pack, and hopefully, here in the next couple months, it'll be found and added to a display case. So I'm pretty excited about that. So, I mean, definitely the you know the other thing was, I think the other another high for me was regionals. Um, yeah, in a sense that seeing all the groups. Um, getting to interact on a one-on-one basis with Mr. Walker, Mr. Zarnock, and, yeah. and getting to experience that and just sitting back and just watching it develop. I think that was really cool. I, yeah. I love that. So those are, those were the big highs for me. Um, you know, the lows, well, we already talked about those. Yeah. Yeah. So what what do y'all think? What what were some of your guys' highs from the year? You know, what were you some know, of your guys' lows? What was your favorite find? What was your favorite show? Oh, and uh, PJ, any ducks going to be involved this weekend? Come on, man. You know the ducks are coming to Ashland. That's their home. Ugh. What in the That's world is he? Mean. What has he got on the back? He's got a... It's a broom. Oh, it's okay. It's a witch. Okay, I got you now. I didn't see the broom. Yeah, James, it was a that was a really good time, but I'm I'm glad that that worked out as well as it did. <laughs> it was a little worrisome there at the very beginning, but yeah, it worked out. Um, yeah, know. you know, we we touched base on that. I think a little bit um, last week or the week before. Um, the other thing I, I think is really great is just the growth of the hobby or our community in general in this area, whether, you know, stretching from Sioux Falls to down to Omaha and points east and west, you know. And further south yet, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's I am, we didn't really promote it the other day, but we hit 600 people in this page. And that's kind of a huge deal. I mean, it's kind of neat that there's 600 people that, that want to be a part of this little thing that we started a couple of years ago. Um, we, we didn't know it was going to get this big, you know, we had no clue, but now we're just kind of just rolling with it and we're seeing where they come. And, and that's really a testament to everybody that's out here watching right now. Who participates on the page comes to the shows and things like that. You guys are the ones that are really driving that, I think, in my opinion. I mean, <clears throat> we're just the faces. That's it. I mean, and I we're wanna... not even the only faces. There's there's many faces of this club. Yeah. You know. Personally, I'm I'm just a kid. I'm just a, I'm just a kid. Yeah, I'm just a kid that plays with toys. But uh, you know, we're I'm, I'm nobody special. You know, I'm. I don't, at least I don't want to be anybody that, if I ever sign an autograph, done. <laughs> I'm just done. <laughs> I'm just going to stop. I'd be like, all right, I'm out. You know, I don't ever want to get to the point where somebody wants to have my autograph. That would just be horrible for me. And I was in a, I was in an auction the other couple of weeks ago and uh, they were jokingly saying, oh, well, we're going to make you famous. Please don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be famous. <laughs> I just want to be Brent. I mean, obviously the Ducks made a huge impression. I know James had a great time getting to have dinner by accident, of all things. <laughs> um, you know, I think there was a lot of changes just to how the RLC went in Mattel Creations. I think that was a positive, really. It works. It, it works and it works. 
doesn't work. I don't know. It's kind of a different aspect of things. There's some good things about it. There's some bad things about it. I miss the, the easiness of finding things. You know, the, what in the world? I'm turning my phone is glitching now. Um, just the just the ease that it used to have where you could just click and you could find anything, you know, in the forums real easy. You know, now you have to go from here to here to here to get to over to here. It's just, it's a lot of extra steps that I don't think we need. Okay. What do you guys think? What What do you guys feel about the, about RLC Thank and you. creations and, you know, how that was rolled out and implemented, and, you know, even the numbers of items that are um, now available, you know, the 30,000. Or the unstickered. Or the unstickered, even you know, the Batman's are all unstickered. Yeah, Joe, the, the the growth in Super Sundays has, you know, I mean, it's it doesn't even it's not even like necessarily just supers anymore. It's just, I mean, we've seen kids ripping main lines. It's just, you know, it's I it's think just that, a, it's a great time. I mean, you know, I mean. You know, just we started ripping cars on here, and you know, you and you and Q ripping the the white tires and the the chases and the green machines, and you know, that's cool. I the only white lightnings I own are loose because I was never going to open one of those. <laughs> so, props to you on that. I won't. I don't like ripping white lightning. You know, I but think- then again. You know, I got no problem ripping a gasser, but I, I don't like ripping white lightning to go figure. So I just think, you know, that's brought in other people. I mean, it's definitely with the Iowa guys, they're they're starting to do things like that now too. And it I think what it does is it brings us all together on a common for a common level or a common theme at the moment. So yeah. hats off to you and and uh, Q yeah. for bringing that and and making that grow. Let's see what's PJ got. Yeah, there's you're not wrong on that. Oh, that was uh Klein. I thought yeah. that was PJ. No, but Brian was right. Um but PJ's pretty much the exact Oh, I hit the wrong one. A different wording, but pretty much exactly what Brian said. So and you're both right. You know, the, you know, the, the, the stickers don't mean, you know, when, when the ROC first started, you know, they were doing 4,000 and they were sitting for a week. The, uh, if I remember correctly, I mean, I wasn't a part of it back when it came out, but the, the candy striper gasser sat there for four days before they sold out the, what, how many cars were there? 4,000? 4,000 of it. 4,000. Sat there for four days because there was nobody that was buying them. And I know for a fact that the Antifree Silverado sat there for just as long. Because it, in that time, it wasn't about making money. It was just hanging out with your friends. And then it got to the point where it became about making money. And Mattel, all right. You guys want to keep making money? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna use that. And they keep selling more memberships and more memberships. And then it got to the point where you can go buy a membership at any time. There is no, you know, getting the car is kind of like a hole. You know, it's cool because you actually were managed to get a car. Yeah. Now. You know, I think for me, because I like to see y'all when you get get cars on on RLC days or just your regular finds, because that joy that you guys all have when you share that just makes me go, wow, this is super cool. Okay, let's see what Klein's got here now. <laughs> it's a long one. The production numbers were regularly over 10,000. Are you just looking at all the old ROC, especially buses? Yeah, you know, and 
you know, everybody was, you know, when that Batmobile came out, I was excited. You know, I got mine. I was like, woohoo, you know. And then you hear people that are like, well, I shouldn't have bought two of them now if it takes a week and a half to sell out or however long it took. Then you bought it for the wrong reason. Mattel wants to make these cars for people to enjoy. If the only reason you're buying them is to, to flip them and sell money, that's why Mattel's making so many. They're taking that value down. In my opinion, at least. That's what I think they're doing. I don't know if they are or not. But You know, I go back to something that was shown this past Sunday when we were, if you watched the uh, um, Toys That Built America episode, you know, that featured the Matchbox versus uh, Hot Wheels and and something that Elliot Handler had said, it he's playing with the Matchbox car and it just didn't roll very well. It rolled, but it didn't roll very well. Visually, it was very, very accurate and correct. But it wasn't any fun. But it wasn't fun. And that's what he wanted to capitalize on. A little bit of how, how does it referenced in Red Lines to Treasure Hunts that California cool is what he was looking for. Yeah. You know, and that's why the uh, the Seasider, the Surfsider, Flash Sider, uh, Flash Sider, you know, those are all off of a 65 Elko. Mm-hmm. That was sitting in a parking lot at Mattel. Mm-hmm. So I, I just want to go back onto that, you know, why are we doing this? Because it's fun and it's a great way to make friendships and meet new people. That's kind of yeah. the point I was making. All right. What else we got? I mean, I want to hear the highs and lows. I mean, obviously, I think the major low was the ability to go to the pegs and find anything. I mean, yeah, the, the pegs have been pretty desperate lately. <laughs> I, and not I, just lately. For the last the whole, six months. Yeah, it's been pretty rough. So what does that mean? Does that mean that that stock is sitting somewhere? Is it sitting on a cargo ship waiting to get unloaded? Is it sitting in a Conex box sitting somewhere to get put onto a truck and sent out? Is it sitting in the retail shop's distribution warehouse? We don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, Or has it even left, you know, Malaysia? Yeah. Yeah, we, we had talked about that already, but I, I would not disagree with that at all. And, and your performance on trade day was unbelievable. <laughs> yes, it was. Vicky, and I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you do this year. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what you come up with this year. I know. But I want to touch base on this lack of inventory that's not out here right now i mean what i think the bigger impact on this and we're i think we're going to see it on sunday i think we're really going to see it on sunday is that it's going to drive people to come to the show so that they can find things and it might open their eyes um to older things or different things now I could be wrong because we all yeah. want the latest and greatest. Oh yeah, you know, and that's the thing. It's like, you know, I'm missing, I'm missing like the last two Boulevard sets, um, countless cars that I would like to get my hands on. Um, I am currently 100% up to date on my ID cars. I have every one. They are all scanned and happy, all 124 of them. And as the app is saying right now, there's going to be 136. So there's 12 more coming. And that might be it from what I'm hearing, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, that uncertainty too, you know. They're, yeah. I think... I know the chases are done. In the in the A, B, and C, you know, just in the normal Mattel cases, chases are done. There will be no more ID cars in the chases. 
So that, to me, honestly, I'm good with that. Um, as much as I love the ID series, you know, I'm, I'll be happy when it stops <laughs> because, you know, I've got 124 of them. And you figure, you do the math. That's a, that's a chunk of change in those little cars. But I have every one of them. And that's kind of cool to me. So, except for one, there's one car I don't have. But they don't, it's so exclusive, they don't even count it a part of the game. It was a Mattel dinner, Roger Dodger. So I ain't going to get that one. Hey, Rich. Um, Could you read you people know. are missing some cars? will be a search for that. People are, yeah, exactly, PJ. You know, I think that I think the show is going to be pretty crazy this weekend. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, most likely we'll have a racetrack somewhere, hopefully. <laughs> If we it, can squeeze her in, we it's gonna be there. It's just where are we gonna be able to set it up and and you know let people get around and play with it. I think that's that is the number one spot. Well, we there. we do we do have a long hallway. I, I think that's probably where it's gonna go. So if we can just sneak a, a table, somebody's gonna have to bring a table with them, um, and I'll probably talk to Ken about that. But I don't think that hallway is big enough for a table, though. No, but along the bathrooms where the telephone is at, we can put it put it there. Oh, uh, okay, back there. I was thinking like the walkway to the restroom. To the but no, that works no. too. No. That works too. That works too. You know what? Are, what are you guys looking for this weekend? I, I yeah. on the post. You know, there was a lot of interesting things. There was wheels that were available. Um, to be bought. Um, there were guys looking for character cars, I think. Um, There's one of those I need. And that would be the Christmas ju- Nightmare Before Christmas version of Jack Skeleton. I do not have that one yet, and I would like that one. So, you know. <clears throat> Other than that, I can't really say there's anything in particular I'm looking for. Um, I need about three or four Zaymet cars, you know. I'll be just interested just to see how many people Deb can get around her quarter boxes. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Those quarter boxes aren't quarter boxes. Those are like... That, that's what you're not supposed to say, man. <laughs> Quit giving all the secrets away. <laughs> Manny, I have one, one for rent for $1 million. Um. I have a cinder block wall behind me. You think I got a million dollars to give away? Come on, brother. <laughs> well, you know, and, and Manny, you know, he's doing a really nice thing to help his uh, mother-in-law fight. Doing a great cancer. thing. Um, you know, and as he has posted that all out on his page and to our page, I'd like to thank everybody who's participated in that. Um you know, that shows a lot about who we are. And with that, you know, we're going to have a special guest with us that's going to be there around 1045 or 11 on Sunday. Um, his name is Spencer. He is a special needs child, but he loves his Hot Wheels. And he has a birthday coming up on January 4th. And... um you know, some folks are mailing cars to his house, which is great. If you'd like to do that, I have the address uh, that you can send that to. Uh, we will also be collecting cars at Camp Bono's table or Mr. Hot Wheel Hunter. Um, you know, if you want to drop off there and we'll have that for him to take home. So, you know, we have lots of good uh, giving back. And, and I think that's something else that we have are starting to hit our stride on, too, is giving back to um, the community. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, the post hasn't been made, but we gave, you know, 220 cars to Children's Hospital this year. Um, thanks to... Mr. Uh, Joseph Zahn and Quentin Zahn and Super Mike and uh, Brain, Brain, Brain. Uh, Terry. Who? 
Terry. Well, yeah, Terry, Terry, Terry Bono helped organize, but I'm trying to think of the other uh, donator. Uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, PJ, help me out. <laughs> PJ helped too. He took the cars and uh, Riley. Riley. There we go, Riley Burr. <laughs> there it is. I write him to Riley. Yes. So yeah, 220 cars got donated. Um, I have a horrible video um, that I can show just to the people that want to see it. I'm not posting it because it's bad. Uh, they had a yard crew working on the hospital um, parking lot, tree air, arboretum area. There was like nine leaf blowers going and it was just, uh, it's bad. <laughs> but yeah, we got 220 cars donated and they said they were so happy to see them. They were like, we, oh, we were, we were starting to run low on Hot Wheels. Is what they actually told me because they give out Hot Wheels all year round. They don't just give them all out for Christmas because Hot Wheels are something that are small enough where they can just go, Hey, buddy, you want one? And they can open it and they can hold it in their hand and they can have it with them at all times. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a neat thing that, that they were you know, saying that they, they use Hot Wheels all year round. So that made me happy. Good, good. Um, you know, so Riley, um, someone has already donated him a club shirt and we will donate a sticker to him as well from the club. Um, Spencer, do you mean? Spencer, yes. Spencer. I think Riley's already got those. <laughs> yeah. Well, Spencer is getting a shirt and a sticker for sure. Um, you know, in very cool. Uh, we will be awarding um, some goodies as well to some folks who are taking part in that. Um, let's bow a little more. I'm going to say about that. And, um, you know, I think some folks have done some, some good this year. It, it, yeah. It's been hard to choose, you know, lots of goodness, lots of nominations, I think. And yeah, it's been a, it's been a great year. And this is, this was the goal was to make everybody, you know, just, just to have fun. You know, we all, you know, we all collect toy cars. And there's, there's a few kids, but we're mostly grown adults and it's, it's, it's fun to be able to, you know, donate to children and to donate money to Toys for Tots and, you know, help out, you know, there's an auction that raised in the mafia that raised, I want to say it was close to $9,000 for a church charity. And I mean, Hot Wheel, Hot Wheel people are some of the most generous people I think out there that don't have millions and millions of dollars. I mean, you watch the Barrett Jackson auto auctions and stuff like that. And you got guys that are spending a million dollars and they're like, ah, oh, donate it back. Those guys are doing it. Whatever. We don't have a million dollars to donate to, you know, a charity, you know, most of us work nine to fives, you know, we live the best we can with what we got, but yet we're still willing to donate our time and our money to help other people out. And that's one thing that I really like about the Hot Wheel community is it's not all about making money. Most of the time it's about putting smiles on people's faces. So, Which I think we're going to see a lot of that. I'm, I'm hoping we get to see a few more kids this time, a few more grandpas and grandmas, you know, wanting to, oh, I need to find that last minute car for a kid for my grandson. Steven, yes, the club is 100% nonprofit. Well, we're, we're working to make that paperwork. Yeah, we're, we're working to get the paperwork in order, but as of right now, that's the way we run it. You know, all money that's, you know, generated from either club shirts, cars, stickers, um, you know, the shows, table fees, all of that goes right back into putting more shows on, more shirts, more stickers. You know, nobody in our club takes a paycheck at all. No one gets anything. Everything is 100% donated right back to the club. Yeah, if you, you know, um, some folks donate cars to be used for the club cars. There are some folks who, um, you know, we will give up to a dollar per car for yeah. main lines. 
And if we need real rider cars, we will give you your costs back at the, the six bucks that yeah. it costs to buy you at buy it at the store. So if you ever wanted to do that, that's perfectly fine. We will do that for you and return that, you know, back to you. But no, yeah, we are working on getting the actual paperwork in order so it will be a listed actual nonprofit. There there is some to speak to what you're talking about, um, Steve, there is, uh, I think it's NC 305 or 301 is the actual official term for it. Um, Deb and I are working on that. So we have to get like a taxpayer ID number for the club. We have to turn that into the bank and then we have to file the paperwork and it has to be recognized by the state of Nebraska. That is part of the process for it. And in fact, I think that's like 90, 90, 95% of it. So we are definitely trying to work towards that goal, but like with everything, life kind of gets in the way and, but we are actively working on that. Hopefully that answers your question. Mm -hmm. Lynn, how are you? Thanks for coming in tonight. Randy, thanks for coming in, and everybody else who's popped in that we may have missed. Yep. Um, thank you for popping in. Like I said, this is, is just our year in review. There, there's no real big for, format. No. I mean, uh, we can say, let's see. Um, you know what happens? Let's see here. Let's go with this. What was? Let me know. What, okay, here we go. What was your favorite super this year? Okay. Good question. You know, let, let's have a little fun here. I want some interaction here. You know, um, let's see. My favorite super this year, I would have to say, is hmm, the ones I found or ones I own. Uh, not very many, but I do own it, and it would be the Porsche Outlaw 356 with the golf on it. I think that thing is super cool, and I'm glad I found that one. Well, the doors will open, grants and money and donations. Yeah, time. that will. Cobra. Oh, I see. I forgot about the Cobra. I, yeah. Reagan, I think you. I think you hit the nail on the head there. That Cobra is the sleeper um, super of the year. Gasser wagon, Gasser wagon. So far, the Gasser wagon's in the lead. All right. Yeah. I mean, I don't even have to say which one mine was. Stop to five ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I think the 300 ZX is prettier. Dotson and the Porsche from Nick. Yeah, the the the, the 300 ZX is really really pretty. Audi or the Ford F1. I you know what I like about this is that there's I mean other than probably maybe the gas or wagon, just about everything's being mentioned. You know. I'm trying cool. to think of the Ford uh, Ford F1 was. The 49 Ford F1 is purple with five spoke Kragers. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, I forgot about that guy. Yeah. The Audi. The Audi was cool. I mean, I liked the, um, that Audi. There was a lot of blue this year. Blue? Blue was a very dominant color. Yeah, there was a lot of blue. Wagons are cool. Ford yeah. F1 for Super Mike. Yeah. Yeah, F1's um, going to come back. I, I think it's. I, it I think it's a toss up between the wagon and the and the F one. Yeah, I would have to say you're probably right. So what was your least favorite? I'm trying to think. I really I, don't have a super that I don't like. I think it was the Roger Dodger, and here's why. Was the Roger Dodger this year? Yep. Wow. It's like B or C. Been a long year. I done forgot about freaking what supers were what. <laughs> Roger, if and that's why I don't like the Roger Dodgers because it has yeah, all those different... like three different ones. The Civic, yeah, Civic. A lot of a lot of JDM cars this year, and yeah. they don't seem to be slowing down either. Because I know there's another Honda next year, the gold one. Too many Corvette Supers. Yeah. Because there was the K&N. Mm -hmm. 
And what was the other one? The Speedster? Yeah. Or was that last year? No, it was last year. Okay. Like I said, my Supers just kind of blend together anymore. I, I don't ever find them, so I still know what I'm looking for. You know, the twice a year I get to a store, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> I Don't worry, I shop on your behalf. And I have others that help with that department as well. So <laughs> We'll just put that um, up there. Let's see. Um, what was your favorite RLC piece? Ooh. That's easy. The HK2000. Mm -hmm. But that hasn't... Which one was that? Um... That was all the all chrome one, Skyline. Oh, there you go. You got to throw those extra words in there oh, for me, man. I was, try, I, I, I was like, HK2, what? I'm like, what is, like, what was, I was thinking the Honda S2000 is what I was thinking of. You that thought, Pink and Power was your favorite. Um, with me, I got to go with the, uh, the one that showed up at my door today. Actually, it was last night. It, I, I got it last night in the mailbox, but I didn't open it till today. And that would be the Snowman 64 Impala. That thing is absolutely stunning. Um, Klein, oh, man, go ahead. It's pretty. No, it I just say it's it pretty. Is. Klein votes for the 69 C10. There's no surprise there. No. Candy but I, I, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the Mustang coming out. Antifreeze Camaro. Yeah, I didn't like the wheels on that Camaro. I think they should have put some chrome on it or something. Uh, and those those weird gold flat wheels just don't do it for me. <clears throat> oh, I don't even remember. I think I got rid of both of mine. Oh. Um, I like the Jeeps. The Jeeps were really cool. I kind of oh, wish yeah. I would have got some extra ones. Oh. Um Let's see. There was man. There was a lot of there was a lot of RLC cars this year. Yeah, the Jeeps. Mine are. I think minor, these minor are probably, were probably the two biggest surprises of the year as far as Jeep goes, yeah, or as far as RLC goes. I meant to say because Caven, Caven, he likes the gasser for some reason. So, <laughs> yeah, draft the the Triassic. That's going to be cool when we get those. Um, Heck, even the that Cobra Mustang that's coming looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, the '92 Fox body. Once yeah, that's they, that's it's... what I that's what I meant. Oh, okay. Um, let's see what else was there. Um, hi Shane, how are you? Thanks for coming on. We're just talking about our favorite or least favorite RLC pieces again. This is just the year in review show, so mm -hmm. whatever you guys want to. Yep, yep, talk about. I mean, what are we looking forward into next year? I mean, 38 Dodge, yes, Power, Power Wagon, Wagon RLC. That, and James is right, looking forward to that 56 Ford. Those two have got me so interested because I know that those ones are coming down the line. Um, the Monte Carlo with the uh, operating suspension and opening suicide doors is cool. Um, uh, the the ninety Silverado. Oh yes, the, yes, the four fifty four. Um, there's a new BMW, but I don't know. The BMW to me kind of I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. Sorry, I'm muting my mic when I cough, so I don't blow any speakers. <laughs> the Golf, the Golf 510. 510. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about the Golf 510. That's gonna that's that's gonna be a nightmare. Um, I, what what do you guys think about regionals next year? Do you think you, you guys are excited to see that? I mean, we've got two big Mattel designers coming. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, Aaron's got those two guys coming. Um, yeah, Aaron does. Uh, you know, and Reagan's putting on the pizza party. Yeah, that the welcome party tickets are sold out for that. And if you don't know what we're talking about, Midwest Diecast Convention, go get your tickets, get your rooms, get up on there. It's going to be a heck of a good time. I mean, it's made it to the back page of the newsletter. Yes, and I would 
I'd show the newsletter, but it's upstairs in my office. But I have the sticker right here. So, oh, there you go. And I, I'm, you know, get, I'm going to get to hang out at that Reagan event. And I'm kind of excited to see that. That's going to be cool. I think, it, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised just how personable the designers are. Yeah, Brendan's a really good dude. Yeah. Yes, hopefully yes. the storms stay yeah. away this year. We don't need any more storms this year. No, no storms. <clears throat> no bad. Foo, bad. After last night, now nah, I'm done. <laughs> last night was uh, was interesting. But, uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to, to, to the convention, you know, up there in Iowa. I think it's going to be a great, great, great weekend. Um, you know, I know that we got the VIP tickets done. We got the welcome dinner done. You know, uh, I don't know if they have tables or not, PJ. You're gonna have to get a hold of Aaron because uh, remember, I, Aaron too. I would jump on that if you're serious about you know having a table tables down there. I, I have a feeling that they may be going quicker this year than last year. And Shane, you're gonna. Are you talking about the the Midwest convention, or are you talking about the 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 60 foot downhill at the nationals in LA. An 80 plus. Nice. Yeah. We had uh, 93 mile an hour winds in Lincoln. Aaron, there you are. Is now being presented by the red line studio. Ooh, that's cool. Aaron breaking news right here. That is awesome. That, Very that's good. new. Studio Very cool. Yeah, studio. Those guys are fun. I Lenny, watch that stuff all the time, and I'm, I have just, and I'm learning, you know. And everybody says, you know, there's a lot of people that think that I know like just the mass amounts. I don't know jack about red lines. Midwest, I got it last year. Oh, Shane, um, I don't know, Aaron. Are Aaron? Are you going to be doing the, uh, the racing this year? I think Lenny and Matt are going to bring a lot to that show. Yeah. Um, if, if, if they're coming, um, but just having the studio red line attached to regionals is. Yeah. That's uh, going to be Midwest convention. Oh, convention. Remember it's not regionals anymore. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Rich. You, you're, you're, Come you're on in back, trouble. Rich. <laughs> you're in Apparently, trouble now. Aaron <laughs> likes to drop little little surprises like that, so that's some um, some good news right there. Yeah, and I was uh, I, I I one of my best finds of the year. I would have to say that uh, Lenny and the gang will be here. Very cool, very cool. Um, one of the best finds of my year came from last year's Midwest convention, and as crazy as it sounds, is I got it from CJ. And it was the, uh, and yes to the racing. Ooh, cool. Are we doing a, are you guys going to be doing a good theme this year? Like you did last year? Or are we just going to be doing, or are you guys just going to be doing some straight up, just regular racing? But anyways, uh, it was a McDonald's placemat from like 1989. Yes. And all the only reason I bought it, I don't have a clean one, but because there was a Mercedes on it. And so I bought a, a placemat. And then I bought a frame for the placemat, and I got the uh, the Dutch banner from the Dutch Legacy Project. So, you know, I got a lot of cool stuff at that show. It was a good time. Yeah, the Dutch banner was pretty cool. It has yeah. the one I got has the mini truck on it, which same uh, one I got. Is I actually have that mini truck in my collection. It looks like Mafia is participating in the charity auction, so that's. You know, the Mafia is the host for the charity auction. That'll be fun. Lord Wiggins himself, maybe? Ooh. Well, you've you got to remember, though, the, it's not just Lord Wiggins. It's the Preach. It's Jason and Chad and Eric and I want to say Jason? No. James. No. James. What's his name? Yeah, it is James. Yeah, so James Sockley. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a killer good time, and it's going to be fun. Um. Yeah, it's going to be a good time, and I'm looking forward to it. And I know everybody else is. Um, let's see what else we got. 
I know that we've got the Charlotte convention in about three months. You guys look tired. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little tired. I'm not going to lie. I woke I, up at like two or three o'clock in the morning. It was a little bit of a, I didn't sleep good last night. I lost I, power. So <laughs> I had to clean out my dad's house today. So it makes it. But yet we're here. We're smiling. We're trying to. Working on classes of racing, Jason, Chad, and Wiggins. Nice. That'll be a good time. Corey, it's um, good to see you as well. Thanks for popping in, Mr. Spencer, Corey Spencer. Yes, Brian, you, you should come to the Midwest Convention. I think it would be – it's always good to have a another collector that is well-known throughout the community to come in. You know, it just Thanks. adds more to the show. Yeah. What's up, Corey? But yeah, let's see. Oh, I got my email yesterday from the uh, great folks over there at the Collectors Events Unlimited that I got all my extra add-ons. I got my charity car this year, which I am really excited to get. Um, I picked up an extra finale car, whatever it may be. I ordered my T-shirt, which... I, I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know why I buy these shirts because I've never worn one. <laughs> well, Actually, I take that back. I have one worn. Of course, Corey Spencer will be joining us yep. as well. Nice. Corey cool. does an amazing work with uh, making trophies. I know he's made some in the past for the Hardy Adams Invitational. Yep. Uh, he made some artwork for the Iowa Club as well. So. His participation is going to be greatly appreciated as well. Let's see here. As they said when they were recently cars for the Charlotte Convention. Um, no. Nope, not uh, not yet there, PJ. Um, I would assume with – I would – I guarantee before the end of February, we'll know what the first two souvenir cars are. So – we won't know the finale until the finale most of the time. Um, the dinner car, they normally do a really good job of keeping secret. We don't know that until the night of the dinner. Um, the charity car, they've announced what it is. We don't know what it looks like. and We probably won't know that until maybe about a month prior. Um, the, normally with the charity cars... We don't know what they look like until somebody gets one in their hand because they go from, from where the heck? I, I thought Walker one. showed what they were going to look like on the drag dairies uh, last year. I can't remember. Maybe I'm just wrong. I don't know. There's so much that goes around through my um, Swiss cheese of a brain. Yeah, I don't uh, know what you're talking about, to be completely honest. And, and I just, apparently, I can't. What is the I mean, casting? I'm, I'm, Brent, I don't know. I can't, I can't remember what it is. I know you know it. And oh, I know I, what it is. I'm trying to find one, but I can't, I can't find one. I know that there's one. I know I put in for one, and I never put in for one. So it must have been something good enough that I liked. Well, I don't know where it is, but everybody knows what it is. It is the long gone That's right. semi truck. And I am super excited. Yeah, it's gonna be the long gone. Um they have they have I mean it it's a semi truck. I was in a hundred percent the regardless, but I have all the charity cars going back from eighteen to the present, so I that's a new thing I kind of started collecting was charity cars. I haven't heard back on mine yet, but that I you know I may miss out on the charity car, but I, I know I'm definitely getting the extra finale car because I think you have until February to get that in. Yeah, and I'll have, maybe I'll have to check my email. Maybe yours are underneath mine. Hmm, possible. I didn't think about that since our tickets are consecutive. They might have sent it to me too. And I just stopped mine and stopped. I'll have to I'll have to check that out after the show. Of course, I could always check to see if they cancel the ch or they cash the check, but that that, that works too. I do um, have access to that. Yeah, you know, kind of. 
You know, I wish I, I honestly I wish it was going to be a thunder roller, but it's not. Jim, what's up, brother? How you doing? Hopefully you've been out hunting, and having some fun. Mr. Schaefer, welcome tonight. Um, you know, I I can't really, you know, just Charlotte in general and being able to go have access to all this, the race teams, the tracks that are close by. Our and, hotel is two and a half blocks away from the the, the NASCAR Hall of Fame. But yeah. I, I haven't looked into that yet at all. So No. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I, there's a Buffalo Wild Wings attached to said Charlotte Museum. Score. <laughs> if they have chicken wings. That you know, kid got to find a restaurant, but I can tell you this much. There ain't a lot of restaurants in this vicinity of our hotel, so <laughs> we'll be a lot of walking. <laughs> All right. What else would you – I mean, what else are you guys looking forward to seeing towards next year? The Legends Tour next year. If you guys have not seen what the Legends Tour car is going to be next year, it's pretty. Yeah. I'll have to get two of those. At least. Kent, since you're the since you're the, the JDM expert, if they haven't seen it, what is it? It is a copy of the Tampos of the 2007 Nissan Skyline R32, except it's going to be purple and black instead of the uh, gold, orange, and black. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. I think that's going to be super cool. Uh, there's a question here. Those shirts you have on, are there sweat shirt, sweet shirts, big sizes for sale? Uh, we have not gotten the hoodies yet. Nope. Um, they they might, might have froze because that post never came through on my phone. <laughs> they, we do want to do hoodies. Um, hey, hey, don't, don't we, what's what's he's like, talking oh, this, about uh, this one? No, I think he's talking about the skyline. I think Brian's talking about the skyline. Well, Brian and, doesn't know what he's talking about because he likes hey, 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 hey. skylines. Miss <laughs> there ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with a good C10, brother. <laughs> and we'd like to welcome Spencer's mom into the show. She is here with us now watching. Hello. And uh, we will have things ready for their arrival around 1045 or 11 on Sunday. Yeah, I hope it doesn't flake. That would be horrible. I think I think after 2000, what in the world is, what, that was weird. My phone glitched in every... My phone has the closed captioning on for some reason, oh. and it just gives me the, the, the whole screen was words. That was funny. I think one thing from this year that I really like talking about was Legend of Car. I loved 83 from Silverado. I agree with Brian. I'm not a fan of the Skyline. <laughs> Hello, Miss Casey. How are you? Thank you again for coming. There's no such thing as a bad C10. No, there's not. Yep, thanks for stopping out and checking it out. You know, and um, the Legends... Tour Silverado was really cool. Um, I think they need to do better on the on the merch that they force us to buy. You know, the bandanas and the t-shirts that don't fit anyone that's not a, you know. I have a shirt. I can't wear it. But, <laughs> you I, know, it's, they need bigger guy stuff. Or, I'm hoping that they do more in-person events. I mean, the mm -hmm. virtual stuff is great. I think that worked for what it was intended for, you know, because we couldn't meet, you know, you couldn't meet face to face. To face. I would like them to do both. I think there's a possibility of that. And the only reason I say I like to do both because I don't want to have to drive five hours to sit in line for nine hours to get a car. Okay. I did that. I know. And I would have been there with you, but I had, something else going on that day unfortunately and i couldn't be there well you'd be lucky because there i could not find a hotel you know my choices were a hotel room that somebody had been in and left <laughs> for the day and they didn't clean or the next place where you could see um cash exchanges for <laughs> services 
going on. So. All right, change, change. Okay. <laughs> sure, it was made in Malaysia. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, it just, uh, and I'd like to see a little bit of dual action, you know, do in person and actually, you know, an actual car, you know, do the actual car shows again and, you know, or make, make more of the Legends Tour stops for the vending truck, you know. The Midwest exists. And I really want to just keep driving that home to Mattel that, hey, we're out here. You know, I'd like to see, I'd I like to see a little bit more. I-80 I and I-70 do go through Nebraska and Kansas. I mean, literally, you have to, most of the, you know, you figure the Legends Tour bus or whatever goes from, say, you know, goes from Chicago and comes down through Iowa, and then you go straight to go, go straight to Chicago or to Dallas, Denver. It's like, hey, there's, you know, there's thirteen, there's, fourteen hours that you just drove, and you could have stopped in the middle for a weekend, but no, you just kept on rolling. I mean, it's it's kind of funny. I I, I think I've mentioned this before. It's like the T-Mobile ads, and they put <laughs> the, the map up, and there's this black spot that they try to cover up, and it. It's eerily shaped like the state of Nebraska, mm -hmm. but they got the best coverage map, so it's kind of oh, yeah. kind of how I feel about about that. So yeah, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, they do have to make executive decisions based off of cost, and well, yeah, we understand that, but but I think like two of the finalists have been from like the Kansas area. I think the guy – there was one guy that come, was at the Lincoln Show that mm -hmm. he lives up uh, – I think up there by you somewhere – that he actually has the – he actually won and it was one of the finalists in one year. Oh, uh, well, Miss Tanya, how are you? I mean, we do have the all-wheel drive 442. Four, yeah. Uh, Brian. I love, love that car. <laughs> I follow him on Facebook. I've seen him. I've met him. He's very cool. I've waited on him a couple times through the drive-thru. Uh, I haven't gotten to ride in the car yet. That's a pipe dream, but... Well, maybe we can make that happen. Oh, God. That would be that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, Let's see here. Yeah, we will... If we can get everything together with that, um, Casey, we will try to get something together. I know there there's multiple people that have been asking about that. We yep. just had to make sure we keep the funds going enough to pull off a couple more shows, and we got to pay for club cars here pretty soon. We got to get those shipped off. So we we are still in the need of about twelve to thirteen uh, red, um, blue, yellow. If you're feeling crazy, and the Zamac. Well, got a cyclone. I think we're good on the main lines because we have close to a hundred there. Oh, that's right. We need the blue. We need the red ones from. We the... need thirteen of the red ones from the Power Trip uh, car culture set. Mid stakes tank tops. Yeah, Brian, I'm gonna have one of those made, and you're gonna have to wear it in Charlotte. <laughs> that's happening. <laughs> I think he's, right now he's like, oh wait, no. <laughs> Actually, I'll, he'd be he would he would do it. It wouldn't even be funny. <laughs> make Roy wear one. Um, no, I'm not he, making. No, I'm not no, torturing Roy. Roy would we, probably we, we, need we, rock. We would we would need we would need we would need sandals <laughs> for Roy. <laughs> I wear a tank top weather for many. We're gonna be in in in, in <sighs> you know in North Carolina. I think the weather will be just fine. <laughs> Murph. Yeah. Yeah. Murph. You're the Murph. Yeah. Well, she's going to have to have surgery too. She's going to lose part of her jaw. That's no fun. Sorry to hear but that. But it's better than the alternative because the alternative this is true. Was not good. But anyway, no more depressing things. No. Let's, no. let's um, talk about Nick and, and all his awesomeness in a tank top along with Klein. Yep. Him and Brian are going to be. Tank top twinsies. <laughs> so I mean, really, man, we have, we've been going for almost an hour. I know and it doesn't even feel like it. What else nope. you guys want? Because I don't have a really cool car to open tonight. I got a car or cars. I have. 
I have a cool car, and then I have a really, really not sure I want to open car, but I don't know. That, that's what we're going with tonight. Mr. Jackie Jr., how you doing? Can we get a... Oh, yes. dude, we'll, we will have a live footage of that if, if we can get this pulled oh, off. <laughs> okay, so that reminds me of something. Speaking of live footage, how did you guys like um, Ooh, us going live during the convention to give you those little sneak peeks and little snippets of how things work? Did you guys enjoy the show, us doing the show on Thursday night? Yeah, and we promise if you guys want us to do that show again that we will be more than – six feet apart we will we will get like two different and we'll go to like two different complete areas you know maybe we'll see if we can you know maybe you know you know what we ought to do i don't know how well it would work but we'd have to try it out go room to room shopping with headphones you start on one floor i start on the other floor and we go just room to room shopping live stream that would be interesting <laughs> Um, no one wants to see this in a tank top, boss. It ain't happening. <laughs> Nick, you won't, you won't, you, you won't be getting to, to watch a lot of those because you're actually going to be there. So, <laughs> you, you know what, Nick? You, you can, you can post some of those. In fact, Nick, you'll probably get to hold the camera for a lot of that. Or, or Nick, you can post your own. You know, if you're in a room and you like what you see, boom, go live. Show everybody what you're looking at. You know. You know, PJ, we've talked about that. I don't think it's as big a pipe dream as you think. No. Nope. But I understand where you're coming from. I, I think maybe next year um, for a show idea, we should break down just how how to how to go to convention on a budget. Yeah. How to, and how to budget for convention. You know, if anybody is interested in that. That would be interesting. Um, I, I think how to it, unpack your suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I, I and can't hold that buy. one. I, I haven't gonna, unpacked mine yet. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna buy another one. <laughs> no, it'll be empty. I got three months. I'm good. He knows I did that. I said I got three months because it's technically it's four right now. But but yeah, I will have the suitcase unpacked by then. So let's see what else. Because if we got nothing else, I mean, I guess we can. Unless you guys want us to keep going. I mean, I think we talked about a lot of the highlights, a lot of the lowlights. We really didn't talk about Ashland per se. Um, this we, weekend? Yeah. We, starting we at what? 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock? 10. Starts at 10 o'clock, goes till 4? 3. Man, I am just missing it. All right. But here's yeah. the deal. 10 to 3 on Sunday. Doors open go. for vendors at 8. We have to do a little bit of setup on Sunday. There's no Saturday, no Saturday setup. Um, we're going to have a special get guest by the name of Spencer. He's going to get himself um, a really good experience. He is special needs, so we'll try not to overwhelm him. But I think he's going to have a very good time. His mom is very super excited to have to... Uh, is very super excited to have him come. Uh, let's see what else we got. We'll have a 50 50 raffle like we always do. We'll have the shirts, we'll have stickers. We will take orders for club cars. Although this year we're just asking that you pay up front instead of paying when the car gets here because we want to make sure that, that our friend Dave uh, from Maryland gets taken care of right away so that we can have funds available if we decide to donate somewhere else mm -hmm. um you know plus you get to see all your awesome friends and make new friends while you're doing there i think cj grams is going to be selling for the first time and he had a lot of muscle cars and things like that you know he had some mcdonald's placemats at one point <laughs> aaron pullman is coming from car i think that's who that was or maybe i'm thinking of somebody else I'm not sure. I'm thinking of somebody else. Now, I think you're thinking of Shane from Illinois. Yeah, that's what it was. I couldn't remember. The guy. I'm horrible with names. Uh, let's see. You know, Manny's going to have his cancer uh, customs, you know, for everybody. And 
Should I say it now or should I wait till Sunday? Wait. Wait. Okay. I don't even know what we're talking about, but I'm just going with wait. Well, it has to do with Manny. Wait. Think, yeah, we talked about it. Or we can post it later and let everyone see it to bring more people to there. Hmm. hmm. Well, here's the deal. Is Manny, Manny still in here? Manny, you're in here, right? The budget convention. Yeah, well, we're, I think we're going to do that. I think we can do that. I think we'll do that. Murph, just a second. I'll take you upstairs. Just come hang out for a little bit. Um, Manny, if you're in here, pop in here real quick. I, I got something for you. <laughs> well, okay. While, while Manny's waiting to pop back in. I know, Murphy. Just relax. Just give us a few more minutes, Okay. <laughs> She wants her attention. Here's the deal. Manny has made um, some cancer cars for his mother-in-law. Um, they're all sold out. And I decided that with the 55 Bel Air Gasser that I am paying him for, that I am going to turn around uh, and put that back up for auction and all the proceeds from that will go back to Manny for his mother-in-law. I wanted to do something to where we can capitalize as much as possible for Manny. Um, the car is amazing. And I think this is just a, another way to show that um, to help Manny and his family out. So I think we is, should, I think we should do a, like a silent auction, like have a piece of paper there at the front desk. I think that would be where I think that would work out really well. Yep. So, you know, we're going to put that up there. We'll do the silent auction. And guess what? We're going to try to help out Manny some more. Um, that's the big announcement I have. Okay. What do you got? Well, um, I don't know. I'm thinking we should rip some cardboard. Okay. I don't know where mine went. I had it a second ago. Now it seems to have removed itself. Oh, there it is. It was, it was, it was underneath that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, happen. where did it go? Yeah. Well, I need to clean my desk off. That that's going to be my my project this weekend. I think. Well, you need to build some cases, is what you. Yes, yeah. I do. I need the lumber to come down a little bit for that. Word. So do you, I'll go second, or do you want me to go? I'll, I'll go first because mine's not as cool as yours. All right. Okay. We never open five packs. So I wanted to do something different tonight. And honestly, I really ripped some really cool. I'd rip my Leo, my Leo Scrambler. Yeah, because it's the... solid. Crap. <laughs> Hold on, Murph. I'm just about ready. Well, hurry up. You're, you're... Okay, so here we go. Enough with the docking, the more with the ripping. <laughs> I like the old school five packs. I don't like these. All right. That was a lot more violent than it needed to be, I think. But probably. You're Very definitely good. not getting it back in the box, but you know. No, definitely the keeper, the winner right here. This is the yeah. Jag in purple. Yeah, that Jag is very, very nice. Yes. Okay. You're up. All right. And for me, I'm gonna gonna rip a 1962 Chevy Rebel Rods limited edition, one of twenty thousand. And it happens to be the blue chase. Well, hold on, let me. There's too much reflection here. Let's right. fix that. Set that over there. Don't drop the car because I'm consistently known for doing that. Oh, that's way better. There we go. I hate how it always like goes to me. I want to show the car, not me. I love this one because it has blue lined uh, wheels on it. I don't know if I can get that to come up or not. Yeah, this is the dark blue metallic one. It has the blue rail rider chrome very cool oh and it has a silver top 
Dude, Just a really reminder, cool. reminder that uh, the show is in Ashland, Nebraska at the Ashland VFW Post 124, uh, 24th Street, I believe. If you don't know, I'm not going to answer. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> so we will see you all there. And uh, go by. Because I think we froze up on Facebook. Did we? Yeah. No, we're oh. still moving. Oh, mine did. Yeah, it's still, we're still got 12 watchers and I can see everything. My phone's still working just fine. Well, I'm starting to just to think it might have been yours. Probably that, is. That didn't work. Oh, that, that goes down there. I was trying to put it back in here, but it doesn't want to go back in there now. That's the problem when you rip Hot Wheels is trying to put them back in the packaging. And most people say, well, don't put it back in the package. Well, until I can get a place for it on the shelf, it's nice to have a little bit of protection for, for some of those cars. So. Cool. Well, other than that, I don't have anything. You don't have anything. We're not 100% sure we're not frozen on the other one. We're doing good on my end. I can still see everything. Murphy's got to go potty. So. Well, then we better let you go so you can let that happen. And uh, everybody have a safe Christmas and good safe news. New Year's. And we'll be back with the next Facebook Live in a couple after, of weeks. after the first of the year. So yeah. see you guys this weekend and ladies and kids and everyone. See you this weekend. All right. Bye, folks. Bye.